Hi, my name is Lynn Schumann, and for more information on my film and how to use it in your classroom, go to scenariosusa.org. So we have f of x equals 5x to the third plus 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. So how we find the first derivative of this function is we multiply the power by the coefficient and we know the derivative of the coefficient to be what? Serene? Serene, what is the derivative of a coefficient? Okay. Rob, the derivative of a coefficient. Okay, it's one. Okay, so we, that means we don't have to put anything here. We multiply the... I used to enjoy coming to school. I've been on the honor roll since freshman year, but things started to change when my older sister Layla got sick. Not only was Christopher Columbus cruel towards his own crew members, but also towards the peaceful natives. In an entry from his journal dated October 12, 1492, he writes, I believe they could make good slaves and would easily be made Christian as they have no religion of their own. Layla, why aren't you taking notes? I don't get why I have to learn this stuff. That man's dead. We're learning that stuff because you need to pass your history test. You wanna go to college, right? Can't you just say that I passed? I mean, this isn't even real school. Who would know what I learned and didn't learn? You know that that's not how it goes. And I'm a little hurt that you don't think this is real school. Well, I'm the only kid here. There's no principal, no classroom. I, mean, I could go on. Okay. If you really want to have that school feeling, I could make sure that you start at 8 a.m. instead of 10, and I could also make sure that you only get a 30-minute break the entire day. Oh. Are you okay? Uh, mm -hmm. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, well, you know what? We, we did a lot today, so I'm gonna let you get some rest. We'll do a practice SAT test tomorrow. I can't even go to regular school. Why does everyone assume that I'm going to college? I've already lost a full year. After I finish school, I just want to explore the world. I want to travel, see new things. Maybe visit the pyramids in Cairo. See the Sphinx. Climb to the top of the Eiffel Tower. The world is such an amazing place. Honestly, I've never really said this to anyone, but who knows how much longer I have anyway. Now, I'm not saying this to be one of those negative people. I'm just being honest. I was diagnosed with leukemia when I was 16. I got treated, but I'm getting sick again. I'm afraid I could be relapsing. At the time, I lost all my hair to chemotherapy. It's growing back in now, but not as thick as it used to be. Serene doesn't like when I talk about it. In some ways, I think it's been harder on her than on me. We've always been so close. Inseparable. How was your day? I hope you gave your teacher a hard time. Mm, I never give her a hard time. And by the way, she's used to me now. 
I feel sorry for her. She stuck with you for six hours. You ever think of the fact that you live with me? You're right. I feel sorry for myself, too. How are the SATs? Nervous? Why, you want to take them for me? And what do I get in return? How about a big tub of salted caramel ice cream with hot fudge? Sounds tempting. And it probably won't be that hard anyway. Easy for you to say since you're the smart one. Well, you're the hot one. You're the hot fudge one. Well, you're the salty one. <laughs> I mean, you're the bitter one. You're the spicy one. <laughs> okay. I am the spicy one. Mo Love you. Love you too. Layla? Serene? Hey, how are you? Leila, eat something, please. Here. You love the one? I'm not hungry. Please, I made it especially for you. Mom, eat. Mom, stop. Did you take your medicine today? Yes, and I took it on time. Thank you. Work, Sammy. You look tired. It was a long day. The boss asked if I could take on extra hours. You work too much already. We need you here at home. I thought you'd be happy. We could use the extra money. The girls could use the extra time with their father. Maya, we have a lot of bills to take care of now. Medications, doctors, teachers. Let's not talk about this at dinner. It's hard watching the world go by and not being a part of it. People going to work, kids going to school. I try not to think about it. But what if my cancer is back? More bills? More trips to the hospital? More stress for Serene? No homework tomorrow. You guys have a big day coming up. <laughs> Get rest. Good luck on the SAT, everybody. Bye. Bye. Serene, is everything okay? You seem uh, a bit distracted lately. I'm okay. Yeah? Things okay at home? How's Layla doing? She's fine. Everything's fine. Um, sorry, I have to go. Do you want to watch this new scary movie I heard about at school? No, I'm okay. Why not? We always watch scary movies. Like I'll show you the trailer. I promise you'll like really it. I don't feel like doing anything. Is everything okay? Oh, you have such pretty hair. <laughs> Layla, why are you still wearing the hijab? Your hair's grown back in. It's not about my hair anymore. I can't explain it, it just makes me feel better. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking. Thinking about what? I'm just trying to find a way to tell you. I just don't want you to see me differently. You know you can tell me anything. You're really starting to scare me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to find a good way to tell you. Just tell me what's wrong. 
Why? What's the point? Don't talk like that. I'm gonna die either way. Please don't say that. Okay, okay? just hear me out. Because mom and dad never do anymore. Serena, I'm afraid something's happening. Something bad, and I don't want to go back on the chemo. I don't want to be bald. Serena, I can't do it. I'm not gonna do it. Well, you should do whatever you need to do to get better. Think of them. Think of me. We all want you to get well. It's not just about you. I'm not getting any better, Serene. Don't you remember what the doctor said about relapsing? I'm afraid I'm having a relapse. What else could explain what's going on? Don't you know what the chances are if it's back? I don't always want to be reminded that I'm sick. I want to spend whatever good days I have with you, not days when you know I'm sick and everyone takes pity on me. I love you so much. And if you have to go back on the chemo, I really wish that you would be good. <laughs> because I would miss you. <laughs> because everyone will miss you. <laughs> I'm over 18. Whatever I decide to do, I'll do. It's my choice. It's well, so it's a selfish choice. going to be okay. Sarin, quick, get me a cold washcloth. Hurry! What's wrong? What's the matter? She's burning up. Call Dr. Miller. We may need an ambulance. Here. Mom, I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Sarin, calm down. Your sister needs breathing room. Go! how much I love her. She's the one who's going to go interesting places and do great things. Please, Serene, do it for both of us. I will now be passing out your test booklets. Please take one and pass them back. For today's test, you may only use a number two pencil. Eating or drinking during testing is not allowed. Power down your cell phones. The only objects on your desk can be your booklet and a number two pencil. Do not open your test booklets until I tell you to. Does everyone understand the instructions? Good. You can now open your test booklets. Begin. Yeah. 